Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Persona 5 Plat One Emerson Walkthrough. This is part 83. Yep. Or 84. I think it might be 83 though. I'm not entirely sure. It might even be 82 for all I know. But it's 82 or 83. Um, we are here to do two mementos quests. The Swinning Old Folks is pretty low quest. And then the Head Honcho in Showbiz. We're going to be killing the Weeper twice today. And we're going to be exploring the entirety of Seru. So I hope you guys are excited for a very long, very cool, very awesome episode. Um, with a lot of editing and cuts on the I'm going to try and compact it and make it nice and fluent for you. But for now, let's go. That is Wakasa's shadow. He's some kind of scam artist, right? Um. Yes, and he only targets lonely elderly people. How could he do something so terrible? Yes. Now, is this a man who requires a change of heart? So, I just want to make sure I've got my right persona is equipped, which is Parvarti. Uh, Saraswati, sorry, and the reason for that is that uh, Saraswati has got Pulimpa, and this is the last money grindable <laughs> character in the game. Behind the scenes, though, you guys must be making lots of money. Let's tell me how you do it. What? Don't lump us in the same category with you, scam artists, tricking old people into giving you big money. Just how big a jerk are you? What? Huh? That money's my caregiver fee. I hew them and hear them. They're dumb small talk, don't I? They blab on and on about how they care. They suck. Is well, that son has got some damn dumb parents, uh huh. Can you say something like that about your own parents? Oh man, the fan thieves are getting on my nerves. Get out of here before I make you. So, I struggle to read that those two sentences in my brain today. It's not with me. Let's go! My brain today has decided that it's on vacation and it does not want to be part of the situation. So, people say to model yourself of adults, right? That's all I've been doing. So, um. It doesn't really matter what you do here. All we're going to be really doing against this guy is just passing our turns until Joker gets his turn, and then we're going to be uh, confusing him for the big paydays, baby, for the big paydays. I'm very excited about that. So, pull him back. There we go, and now we just chill and get as many paydays as we want. You might want to only have Joker in your party. If you only have Joker in your party here, that gives you the benefit of only having to deal with. Um, one turn passing before he gets his turn, which means you don't waste a lot of time with these cards and stuff like that. And you only, and do this as long as you want to get as much money as you want. Maybe count it, maybe add it up, see what you get. I don't know. Whatever you decide to do is fine. I don't think this guy's got a turn yet, which is weird, but I can do that. There we go. 68,000 yen payday. So he's giving, he's giving us about 70,000 yen per turn, which is great. Unfortunately, I don't think you can pull limp something that's really pull limp it, so it is going to be hard. So we're only going to get two turns, and he's going to get a turn, then we're going to get two turns, and he's going to get a turn, etc, etc. But it should be okay in the long run, so... I'm going to do it maybe like 10 payouts or so, and then I'm going to uh, kill him. So I might speed this part up a little bit, because this is a long episode with a lot of things we need to do. But mainly I really just want a little bit of payday, because I do need some cash for this upcoming fight, or for the upcoming part of the game. So, it will be helpful just to have a little bit of extra money. So, two payouts so far, we'd want about like eight more, but I don't really need that many. So, maybe like after three or four more, I'll stop. But I just want to show off that this is the final guy. You can pull in for strat for money. So, if you guys are low on cash or you do need money for whatever reason, be sure to do it now um, because you will not be able to do it after this. So. It is really important to try and get whatever you need for the rest of the game right now. I'd say if you've got like a million yen, you should be fine. But some personas can get really expensive to make, guys. Especially when you use the talent of the strength confidant. So, I would advise, obviously, go as long as you can and get as much money as you can. Because, trust me, guys. Um, you could uh, run out of money very quick making Lucifer and Michael and Satanil and all those people. So, I uh, would definitely recommend you to try and squeeze out as much as you can. So I'm getting very unlucky as always when I do the Prolympus strat. The enemy just is confused, is confused, is confused. They never actually do anything while they're confused. They don't do any abilities. They don't hurt themselves. They don't um, throw money. They don't throw items. They can't. Every time I do it, this way, I watched another guy do it on YouTube and he got like 10 payouts in like Fight every time guaranteed. It was kind of crazy. I don't know what was different about his game and my game that he gets so many payouts, but he got a lot of payouts and very quickly too. So uh, we've only got two so far. We got about 150,000 yen out of that already though. 
Not bad. It's just so odd how when I do the Olympus strat, the shadows never actually pay out for some reason. So it's unfortunate. But what can you do? So they just confused forever. Hey, finally paid out. There we go. But 200,000 yen now at form. Closer to 220. Which is very nice. That's our third payout. I'll go for like two more maybe. If we can. That will be useful. I'll be very happy. Then even itself is not too strong. We don't have to worry about it. I don't know what was busy going off there from my guy uh, Yusuke, but interesting. Hey, a fourth payout. There we go. I got one more payout. And if I get one more payout, I'll be happy in that time. Nice! Free SP. That's a nice one. I like it. Thank you very much, game. I appreciate it, Futaba. So just get whatever you think you need. Don't worry too much about it. A muscle drink. I think I don't care anymore, so I'll come. Um, uh, I'm gonna kill him now because um, I don't really... I, I don't care about the money that much. I feel like I've got enough. And the way I play, I do so much off camera grinding anyway. That Money shouldn't be a problem for us. Tucker Mina cuts it level up to 34. I level up to 67, which is very nice. Makes it a little bit cheaper to make high level okay. personas, which we also like a lot. Electrus over maybe counter. No, nah, over Taro Kaja, I think. Beautiful. 2 for 1 special. There we get a level up on the persona and we get more. Ugh, been such a bastard, huh? I was really taking people money from old people. Oh man. Unforgivable. Sorry, I don't know what to say. It was really horrible of you to take advantage of people's weakness like that. What do you intend to do now? I apologize. I'll visit the houses of everyone I tricked. I'll apologize to them or before I turn myself in. I'll confess everything I've done to my parents too. I'll apologize for being such an idiot son. For such an idiot son. Hayton Rowe? If he knew how much pain you put your victims through, you would have never done this. Remember the shame you feel over what you've done and do your best to make up for it. I don't know who she's speaking to. Makoto, he's gone. I don't know if you've been paying attention, Makoto, but he's kind of gone. So, yeah. So, the next part is kind of, like, tricky. So, we're going back to the entrance. Um, you don't have to do it exactly how I'm doing it, guys. Do it whatever suits you. I just want to do it this way because it works out for me and how I'm doing it. But what you want to do is go back Let's to the entrance it. and you want to... Um, Go and register any personas you want to register. Equip your people with the best of everything they have. Put the party you want into that you want to have on you. Um, and make sure everyone has got full SP and stuff. Because you're going to be fighting the Reaper soon. We are going to be fighting the Reaper twice. I will be cheese stratting the Reaper for the first go. And then I'm going to be legit fighting the Reaper for the second fight. Now, the reason I'm doing it in that order, I could do it either order. It's just, it's so much longer to do it the, the other way around. I would like to do it the other way around because that way it would be more impressive. But we're going to get like five to six levels out of a Reaper kill. So I'm only going to do the cheese strat. I will not equip the pillar of light we get from the Reaper. Don't worry. And then I'll fight him legitimately. I just want those extra you levels. And the reason why I don't feel bad about that is because I could grind these levels just by running th through Seri Ruth before like fighting the Reaper, this? which is what is actually recommended. Um, the only reason I'm doing it this, this way is because not only does the guy tell me to do it this way, which is like a very big deciding factor for me, uh, it's also because um, there's a safe point right there. So it just works out kind of nice. But it really doesn't matter how you do it. You can do it any way you want. So we just want to get rid of some personas on us right now. We need to make a lot of stuff. We can make a Yamato no Rich, which is great. A new persona, exactly level 64, which we are too. So that's great. We don't have to pay extra. He's got Onikaguri. He's got Deathbound. Um, let's give him Sayo. It's fine. He's weak to Nuke. So maybe I should have given him Nuke. I'm going to skip this. As I usually do. <laughs> Yamato no Orochi. I am Yamata no Orochi. My power flows like flood with that mask. It be yours. Sweet. Makes me very thankful. Uh -huh. Behold, the judgment right. confident is giving Yamana Yamata no Orochi a bunch of shit. Thank you. Unshaken what? I literally don't even know what that, that is. Kind of cool. Uh, when you see things you don't know yet. Sweet. So we have nothing there. Yamata no Orochi, do you make anything cool? Huh? 
Not, not really. Okay. And uh, I don't think we need to register her. No, we don't. Okay. So, um, I would like to get rid of some personas. So maybe Clothu. How about we give you Sarasveti? This is what the pers let these powers So I'm just going to show off what I'm doing here quickly because it's important. And then off camera I will uh, do all the other necessary steps. There we go. Okay. Clothu goes to level six, uh, 34 which is great. Invigorate instead of maybe Windwall. Speedmaster is pretty good instead of Sukundu. Very nice. Okay. Ame no Uzume. Needs two levels. So let's take Ame no Uzume and we can give it a Yaman Yamato. Let's give it a Yamato. This is what the first let these powers you Because we did make Yamato and remember he is registered with all those abilities. So there's no reason to keep him. We can get rid of him, it's not a problem. So we want sh do we want shock boost? Nah. Ah. Uh, nah. Doesn't really matter. Deathbound. Nah. Not by Bufulu. You do nothing for me. Sweet. And then these two we don't care about at all, so we just kinda wanna get rid of them. So what we're gonna do is just gonna go to register. We're gonna register Kothu and um, um whatever because they are not registered with their max out abilities yet. And then You'd like to register this? And not for goal. So, what I'm going to do here is finished? kill some personas. Don't worry, guys. It's nothing, it's nothing brutal. Don't worry. I'm just going to get rid of them. So, something like uh, Lilim and Balafagor. Are you done? I'm just going to get rid of Amino Uzumi too. And Clothu, you're done. And kill Clothu too. Takuminakata, you're also done, so we can kill you too. But I can't because you equip, so equip Isis quickly and kill Takuminakata. Sweet. They are gone. And now we're going to make our Reaper fighting persona. Now, this is the persona I chose to fight with. I don't know if it's the correct one. I don't know if it's the best one. But it's the one I chose because it's got Null, Darkness, and Repel, Light. So, the Reaper's annoying abilities that hit everyone... Will not be annoying or hit everyone. This so you need to get one of power. every single of the riders. The white rider, red rider, pale rider and black rider. Those are the four horsemen you could almost say. And they will fuse together to make trumpeteer. And trumpeteer of course is the only persona I can make right now that has got the resistances I need to not instantly go game over. So that is why I'm doing it. A fee is required. This is your pop. You lack patience. It's literally the four horsemen, by the way, in case you guys don't put one and one together. You wish to perform an execute. Some modification, huh? You wish to perform an execute. Can you gather them up? Trumpeteer. Sweet. So, as you can see, we make Trumpeteer. He's got Repel, Light, Null, Dark, Repel, Lightning, and Drain Ice. He's pretty much the best persona we can make in the game right now, so we are going to make that. Um, I'm going to give him Snipe. Ambient 8 is not too bad, actually. Actually, I'd rather have Alien Boost instead of Alien 8. Speedmaster is good. Evade base not necessary. Counter Strike is not necessary. Um, I want to give it a one shot kill and then. Uh, um, it really doesn't matter what else you take. Maybe we could put my, my egg it on. Will receive extraordinary He's going to learn a bunch of stuff reaper. anyway, so it's going to all like work out. So don't worry about it. Trumpeteer. I am Trumpeteer, the ring of my trumpet signals calamity and death. I shall be your master, let us harmonize. So this is the persona I'm choosing okay. to fight him with. Choose whichever persona you want best. I would recommend this one because of the fact that he's got all those repels and drains. It's really good and nulls. Decreases chance of being afflicted by elements. That's pretty good. By brain, no, by abysmal surge, I guess. Cripple, cripple is a must. By Brainbuster, Life Aid, 
Life aid's not bad. Um, maybe get rid of element boost, I guess. Sweet. Okay. And then one last thing we need to do is we need to just go and uh, quickly draw a pretty high level persona. King Foss should be fine. Uh, actually no, I don't want King Foss. I want Siegfried instead. Yeah, let's get Siegfried instead. And we're actually going to sacrifice Siegfried to Trumpeteer. What are you waiting for? This is what it should let these powers unite. And the reason we're doing that is because we want to level up our boy Trumpeteer one more time. Alright. Level 65. We needed the highest level one. I forgot about that almost. Um, let's get rid of Life Aid for now. Vorpal Blade. I don't think Vorpal Blade is too good for us, so we'll get rid of that for now. Awesome, and now we do have a King Frost on us, which is kind of pointless, so... Some modification, huh? um, you do whatever you want mind? to do, I guess. I'll delete finished? it, whatever. Um, so that's going to be that. So we are done now. No so that's the prep, guys. That's the prep I do for uh, the Reaper fight. And you, of course, want to just make sure everyone that you're going to be fighting the Reaper with has got their best everything equipped that you can have on. Ruji does already have his best weapon on. To this, it's fine. It's fine. Hatsune Mob is better. Makoto, perfect. Orochi is way better. Never seen that before, but it's better. Awesome. So that means all my people are set. So then just uh, maybe heal your SP and your HP. So maybe like a. Uh, oh, our HP is really healed. So we just want to heal our SP actually. So maybe something like a. Snuff soul on this and this, and then like a master copy on like uh, Makoto, and then we can just take some of these until everybody is just cleaned up a little bit. And Ryuji, definitely, Ryuji's man is actually really important. And uh, yeah, that's perfect. We don't need mana on Anne and Haru, so it's fine. Let's do it. Save your game, trust me. And now I'm going to explain what to do. So, we are going to be doing the cheese strat first for the Reaper, just because I want to get a couple of extra levels, just to make it a little bit easier on the next fight. Just a little bit easier on the next fight. So, uh, that's what we're going to be doing. Oh, it opened. Looking at this on a larger scale, this is the 52nd area. Yes, I wonder how many are left. We'll just have to find out with our own eyes. Let's go. So this takes us into Sherry Ruth, the final area I think in the game before the like the big big like momentous area. This is the seventh area. Is it just my imagination or is this place even creepier? No, you're right. Without exaggeration, this repugnant place is an assault on the senses. Uh, sure, and the enemies here are going to be pretty feisty too. Be careful, alright? Yeah, I'll be careful. So, all you need to do is climb in this little car and then sit here. Sit here for about 3 to 5 minutes and the Reaper will spawn and it'll come fuck you up. And uh, we're just going to hope that we get a Reaper with the space status on him. If he has the space status on him, he'll die. If he doesn't have the space status, just load. And then do it again. Or we'll just load and then do it again. And just load and do it again, etc, etc. That's how you beat him. So, uh, it's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward, and um, that is the strat we're going to be employing. So, um, I'll see you guys soon in the Reaper spawns. I hear a Reaper! I hear Mr. Reaper boy! Hello Mr. Reaper boy! So eventually he will come, just right, wait for him. He's very big and red and scary, you will not miss him, trust me. He's not actually that bad, guys. Like, if you strategize well, you can beat the Reaper very easily. Don't worry about it. There's also, like, a lot of cheesy ways to kill him. 
Uh, this is like what I think the game designed. What the, I think I feel like the game designed this to be a thing because flu season only comes around at the end of the year, which means by that point you're super high leveled and everything. So let the reaper attack you. It's really important. He's despaired on our first go, very lucky. And now we just literally rush through our turns because he's despaired. So you just want to pass three turns basically. In three turns the Reaper will die because of despair. And then it's a free Reaper kill. We'll get the trophy to pop. And uh, we will get a shit ton of experience. A unique Rebel trophy for beating the Reaper of course. Now that's the easy way guys. It's not the right way. <laughs> it's just the easy way. Uh, but yeah, we'll get a ton of levels from this, which is what we care about. Uh, everyone leveled up about six times, seven times there, so it's really good. It's really, really good. Uh, four times, sorry. More like four times, but anyway. I feel even stronger. My max HP and HP went up. I can now create personas up to level 71. Aginiestra. I think Agni Yestra is better than Swiss Strike. Um, is it though? Yeah, I think it is better than Swiss Strike. Is it better than Megaton Red or Deathbound though? Uh, I think it's better than Swiss Strike. Sweet. Wind Amp. Love it. Um, so we're gonna get rid of... Hmm. Let's get rid of Mepatra, fuck it. I don't care about Mepatra. This is what I was waiting for, and to get Fire Amp. So Fire Amp and Fire Boost stack, guys. They stack. Now, if I'm correct, which I'm not sure, I don't think you can actually set the uh, Reaper on fire. So I'm not going to bother with Burn Boost. I'm going to put Fire Amp on. So we're going to have 25% for there, plus 50% here, which is 75% extra fire damage on Anne. Trust me guys, that is insanely like good for um, killing bosses. I think we get rid of Heatwave for Bobo Blade. A new skill. I think Nuke Amp is pretty good, but I don't think we care about Nuke Amp and Nuke Boost on Makoto because she's kind of like an all-rounder more than a damage dealer. Although Flash Bomb is kind of falling off the wayside at this point. I never use. Let's get rid of Flash Bomb. It's fine. Cripple skill. with um, Haru. You need to decide with Haru at this point. Are you going to go for a Cybold or are you going to go for a Gunbold with Haru? So um, I think I will be going for a. I think I'm probably going to go for a Cybold on Haru. I wish I could see your stats. What is her highest stat strength or magic? I can't tell right now. But I don't know. I think she's like our only like person that can do. We can give it a Mako Khan actually. Screw it. And then she's gonna learn to recover SPX, which I think is good, I think. I'm not sure what it does. And that's the Reaper Kill, guys. Super easy peasy. Got the Reaper Kill. Um, and now we're gonna leave. And we are going to save. And then we're gonna actually fight the Reaper legitimately. And now that I got those levels I wanted on Anne, basically, and Ryuji, that's all I really care about. It should be pretty easy and straightforward to beat the Reaper. Oh my god, I'm pushing all the wrong buttons. <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, you know... You need to decide for yourself if you're okay with being the Reaper with the Despair strat or not. If you're not okay with being the Reaper's Despair strat, then you can use my next strat. I would just recommend that you have Amp, Fire Amp on Anne and Aginiesta on Ryuji before you do it. Trust me, it's gonna make a massive difference, guys. Anyway, let's go to uh, over here and say. Okay, and once you show that you've saved and that everything is good, you go down again and we wait to reap again for the second fight. So this next reap fight I'm actually going to do legitimately, so guys, it's going to take a while and um, I'm sorry that you're going to have to sit and watch me fight the reap for so long, but, you know, it's just one of those things that I need to do. And uh, hopefully, it will be, well, the, vi the episode will still be enjoyable for you. So, once again, we're going to wait for reap and I'll meet you guys once he's here. Let's go, Mr. Reaper boy. Let's do this. So you can see the reap is coming. Get ready guys, once again let him attack you is very important. Um, the reason you let him attack you is because he only gets one turn then. He does not get two turns and I'm assuming that you don't want the Reaper to have two turns. So trust me when I say, do it like this. Now, um, Makoto is kind of the worst person to go first because she does nothing. So just Mafridine, I guess, or whatever you want to do, I guess. Just do something. 
I wanted to say do something, but then of course, um, Makoto missed, so that's frustrating. What can we do? Concentrate on Anne. Charge with Ryuji. Actually, Matsuru Kaji with Ryuji, I changed my mind. Ryuji is supposed to go before Anne, actually, so that's a little bit odd. Riot gun. It's fine. Um, once again, just Maki Dine, I guess, because we can't really do anything else. So, any free damage you can get here, just take. Uh, one shot kill with Joker every round. And and Agadines every round. And she did about 200 ish damage. 250, even better. And Ryuji, you charge Ag Agadines drop. And then Anne, you. Uh, Concentrate fire uh, Aguiline. It's that simple. You just do that over and over and over and eventually he will die. Hmm. Makoto is just here as our full healer, our meter hunt full healer. So it shouldn't be too bad. The hardest part of this fight literally is just the part where the Reaper is going to start Mahmudaing and Mahamiyaining. And that's about it. That's all you really need to worry about. So we are charged. So, Aginestra. Hope it doesn't miss. We only got one off there, but you can get up to three. One with one to three. So. Mudun, please miss. Nice. Perfect. Makoto's got a free turn, so just attack. We don't waste too much mana on Makoto, actually, I realize, because Makoto is um, going to be our healer. So, we wanted to have eight mana for healing as much as possible. And it's concentrated. Aginain. And this is pretty much the strat, guys. This is the strat. That's what we're gonna do, and eventually the good sir will die. So that was two turns. So it was Matokaja, that's one turn, then he charged, and then he attacked. So it's Matokaja again. Try and keep track of what you're doing, because you always wanna make sure your attack up is up and your um, charge and concentrate is up. Come on, Ryuji! Uh, Ryuji unfortunately did not dodge for us. And, triple evasion time. Nice. on with our okay. goal, Makoto. One shot kill with Joker. And this is what we're going to basically do until we eventually kill the Reaper. It's a long process, guys. It takes a lot of turns. Um, but it is, the, it is the way to do it. That's one turn. Excuse me, one turn after the um, eight, the strength up. Nice, charge me up, baby, charge me up. Eh, that's actually not that bad, I guess. Maybe not what I would have wanted, but that's fine. Let's go. One shot kill. I get dying. So as you can see, Anne is like our big deep. Uh, Ryuji is also okay if it, when he gets a triple one like that. It does 300 sign damage, so that's obviously amazing. But obviously we need that triple damage. Anne will block this, so it won't matter. And um... Hmm. I think I will heal. With Makoto because uh, Ryuji is losing a lot of... HP every time he attacks, but he's not gonna attack for a while, so maybe I could have waited a turn. I don't know. Debilitate the Joker every three turns. Make sure every third turn you debilitate the Joker. Very important as you keep the Reaper's stats down and it matters. It actually does matter, guys. Any chance we have to make a miss more is good. And now Macho Kaja. So that's the thing you go with Vuji. Macho Kaja, charge, Agniesta, Macho Kaja, charge, Agniesta, every turn. And concentrate Agilan, concentrate Agilan, that's it. Reaper, uh, the Joker, debilitate, two attacks, debilitate, two attacks, debilitate. Makoto, heal or attack. Whatever you can, Makoto, but that's about it. Orochi, gun is like super strong, right? So, it is not super strong. Take it back. I thought it might be strong, but it wasn't. So, we've almost got him down to about half now. So, it's not going too bad right now. Anne obviously is clutching us for destiny here. Without Anne, the fight is basically impossible. And it's why I wanted to cheese kill him once, just to get the strength upgrade. Now, uh, the fire amp upgrade. Now, I could, if I wanted to, obviously, have just gone and 
um, li grind at the levels in Sherry Ruth before taking on the Reaper, no problem. It would have been easy. But I wanted to do it all together, both of these, and I wanted to do it early enough that if the episode went longer than anticipated, so it wouldn't be like a two hour long episode, it would be like a one hour long episode. So that's why I decided to strat it the way I strat it. Hopefully it's enjoyable for you all. And we don't have the Divine Pillar, guys. Let me make this really clear. We didn't get a Divine Pillar drop from the Reaper. And we don't have the Divine Pillar. So right now, we are not right. overpowered strong. To fight the Reaper. We fight the Reaper with basic stats and abilities you would have if you had just grinded. If you just spent a little bit of time grinding levels. It only was 4 to 5 levels. It's not that much. So, you know, I could have got that probably. I'm probably gonna, I would have probably leveled up four to, almost 4 or 5 times. Just by running through Sherry Root, because Sherry Root gives so much experience, and there's so many enemies. So, Warpal Blade, ooh! I didn't actually know you could do Warpal Blade, that's cool. And that's a problem. Wow, how unlucky that he Warpal Blade it and crit it. Very, very unlucky. So we lost two Endurers very early, much earlier than I would have anticipated, so that sucks. Still trying to keep track of where we are with Joker, I think that we have to... Um, over. Come on, no, don't defense up. Do pow power party charge. Do party charge, please. That's what I need. I need party charge. Watch the kill time. So, Anne and I think Makoto, or was it Anne and Yuji, have used their Endurer already, which is bad because now they um, can get killed from Amuda and Mahamian, which the Reaper is going to cost a lot. And come on, triple evasion, please. No. Okay, that's fine. No crits. Nice. That's not bad. We are Hun. So the fight's going pretty well right now. Um, like I said, this is a fight that you would do naturally. I don't have any special equipment. I don't have any special... Um, this is two, right? I think this is two. I don't have any special equipment. I don't have any special personas. I don't have any uh, rare stuff. I just got a couple of extra levels. Quicker than what I would have got them normally, and that's that's why I felt like it wasn't too cheesy what I did, because um, I didn't really want to beat the Reaper the cheesy trap. I wanted to show it off for you guys that it is plausible and it's very easy. Don't need more. Okay, that's fine. I was gonna say don't need more than one, but I forgot about the tower. So I don't really need to heal with my goal so right now. So 40 extra damage is 40 extra damage. Debilitate because it's the third round. Very important, guys. Always remember that. Concentrate on Anne. So, as you can see, the big problem here is your SP on all your characters. You eat through your SP. Like, especially Ryuji, who doesn't have a lot of SP spotted. And please dodge. Oh. I really need Anne to dodge these things. It's really important. Uh, I will meet her on you now. We still have one Endure left, we still have a Joker save left, and we still have... Oh, we don't have Final Guard anymore, damn it. Actually, kind of thought about that. But we're doing pretty well so far. We're almost there, like three or four more Ant turns and we'll have it. But that does mean that Ant needs to not die, which is um, very hard. But you can just see the amount of damage Anne's doing. 270 damage to the Reaper, you know. That's decent. Ice break. That's a problem. Nice. Um, beautiful free attack turn here with Makoto. Just 39 free damage. We don't mind. One shot kill. Concentrate on Anne. Ryuji will use... You are charged already, I think. So, Agoniesta. Only one hit, unfortunate. Very unfortunate. If we got more, if we got a little bit better luck on Ryuji, we would have been good. I need you guys to stop. Uh, I need you guys to really stop getting uh, weaknesses. So use a Soma once Ryuji runs out of mana. Or at least I would say so. I mean, you don't have to if you think you don't need it. But I'm going to use the Soma here. We need that mana on Ryuji. It's really important. Also, serves to fully heal everyone. So it's kind of a 2 for 1 special. Um, how many have I done of this? I think I, I think 
we have one more, but I can't remember. So I'm going to debilitate for safety strats because I can't remember. I might have missed the messed up here because I lost count, but that's okay. And is all that matters in this fight. The uh, actual... Not the actual, but like the other people aren't that important. Matsuo Kaja. And this is the strat. You Matsuo Kaja, charge Agnesta with Ryuji. And of course, just straight up concentrate and fucking, what's my call it, Iran. Makoto can just attack whenever she can. She just chills, whatever she wants to do. Charge with all my people, come on, baby. Okay, speed up's fine. Speed up's fine. It gives me high evasion. Might be necessary for Reaper P. Mamudins. One shot kill. Play two more turns with Anne and we'll beat the Reaper. So just no Mamudin, Mahamiun combos and we'll be fine. If Ryuji was a little bit more lucky in his Agniestas, we would have obviously won by now. Please do not land on everybody. Fuck oh, me, are you kidding, dude? So the reason why that's a big problem now, obviously, is because as you all saw, Anne died, and she was concentrated, and Ryuji died, and he was... Um, this is the second one. And uh, Ryuji was charged and strength up. So all the strength up and all the charge up from Ryuji, and all the um, concentrate on Anne is all gone because of that, so it sucks. It's a big problem. It's really a big problem, but we're okay for now. The better take in the third turn. We just really need a little bit of better luck there and we didn't have it unfortunately, but it's not too bad. Um, so I was supposed to use Agnesta last time, but I didn't, so strength is going to go off, so strength first. One more turn of Ant, concentrate, fire, and I think we win the fight, so there's definitely a chance. We definitely have a chance here, guys. Hoping for the best. Um, I'm actually just going to normal attack here because we're so close that I kind of feel we might be able to just sneaky sneak out a win here. I'm gonna Aggie-Dine here. Because I feel like... Okay, no, it's actually I do need to do it the other way around. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I gambled a little bit and I, I might have lost, but that's okay. Ice break. Okay, we're gonna win. Nice. So we basically beat the Reaper uh, naturally here. With the, the strat, so it's the only way I found to beat him. Like I'm sure there's many other strats. I haven't looked at any online, so I'm not sure what. Oh wow, they really want me to beat the Reaper. They're like, don't worry, you will beat the Reaper right now. Okay, so we will beat the Reaper right now, guys, and we'll end them. Oh, never mind, joke with him. And that's a Reaper fight naturally without using the spare cheese. Um, I only got five levels, guys. I was exactly the same person. I just got five levels, and I just needed that. And we got the divine pillar. Nice. I just needed the five levels so that um, Anne would have fire amp. That was all. That's all I cared about. And that's the only reason I did it. Once Anne got fire amp, I knew I'd be fine. And that's why that was my goal the whole time. God hand. Um, I guess it's better than Megaton. Right? Yeah. I guess it's better than Megaton, right? So all my people should max level now. That's fine. Whoa, a new move. Basically, power. now that means, um, ooh, that's a problem. Mm, I guess we get rid of Myriad Slashes, maybe? Or Volpo Blade. Deadly Fury feels like it's fallen off now, but at the same time, I do like Deadly Fury. But I think we never really care about the Tom Pass too much. Tommy Flare. Cyan. So we said with her we're gonna go for. I guess we could. Do it like this. Heat Rays. Ooh. I didn't know she had heat rays, that's so cool. Hmm, 
I like heat rays a lot. We're we gonna nuke. We're gonna nuke strat her, I guess. So let's get rid of snipe. All right. Beautiful. I think actually that means all my people's personas are maxed out right now. Um. Oops. Yeah. Pretty much. I think that means all my personas on my party are all maxed out. We're at the end of the game, so it's fine. But this is a little bit early, I suspect. Sweet. So I'm gonna go save this, even though I don't really need to. But I'm gonna anyway. So. As as we can and I'll be a little bit better if it's like saved and it hasn't so there you guys go We killed the Reaper with the despair trick and we killed the Reaper with the normal Reaper fight um, I don't know if there's other ways to do it right now. I I find that With the Reaper if I don't have death and light I'll just add this. Immunity on my main character. It's pretty much impossible But I'm sure that someone else will come along and be like or you could beat the Reaper level 1 with the handgun only or some bullshit like that. So, you know, it is what it is. But for now, we actually get to explore some Sherry Ruth, which is great. So, um, let's you go do it. that. Uh, I do need to go to the album, so I'm going to do that quick. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, and we're back. Um, before we head out, I saw something cool. I made a new persona. If we go over here, so I my persona, Cybella. I made a Cybella. It's the highest level persona I've made in the game so far. But it was pretty much free. It took my trumpet tier, which was like already leveled up and I couldn't use anymore. So only made for the Reaper fight. And the King Frost, which I drew by accident. So maybe it's meant to be. Maybe it's fetched. Fast, oh, Cybella looks all hot as fuck, dude. Look at this shit. Some kind of sexy demon ass. Oh, they, they censor it kind of. So you can't like see whatever is modeled at the back there. So. Interesting that they uh, seems like that. Yeah, that, if you're into demony type chicks or whatever, there you go, dude. This is insane. Anyway, um, and while looking at Sabella, I realized, I think, cool, I can make a Sabazios. Sub uh, we can also make a head on Toledo and a Tapsion, but we can make a Zabazios. And if I go to Sabazios, it, it does 280 weapons. attack with 90 accuracy and crit rate up. Excuse me? That is insane. So, of so course, we are going to be making it. Be reborn. It's because I think this might potentially be Makoto's ultimate weapons, but I'm not sure. And then after that, we're going to head back to Sherry Ruth. And in Sherry Ruth, of course, we are going to be uh, doing the story letters up. This is Sabazios. Take it with you. And uh, and by that, I, of course, mean we are going to... Why well, I am going to be uh, grinding a lot. You're not going to see much of that because I'm going to be editing out a lot of it. But uh, don't worry. I'll be showing off what I need to show off as well as some of it. You know, because we can do some of it. I'm looking for Lachesis. There we go. And awesome. So now we're going to leave. You can see I'm down to 780,000 yen. I told you guys. This shit gets expensive. Make sure you plimper as much money as you are willing to something. get. Because the, the damn son, the shit gets expensive. Anyway, uh, we're going to equip Makoto with a new and improved weaponry, of course. The Sabazio, which is about 42 strength more, but 9 accuracy less. So that's a little bit worrisome. Anytime I see less accuracy, I get worried. I also want to go equip Anne with the SP Adhesive 3 again because we finished with the fight against the Reaper. And I only had the magic up so we could do extra damage to the Reaper with it. Now that the Reaper is dead, obviously I don't need that extra damage. So let's go. So we're going to quickly head on down to Sherry Ruth again. Finally get to explore some Sherry Ruth. We're going to be doing the entirety of Sherry Ruth and the quest line in this episode. So I'm going to be editing and cutting a little bit of the content. Not too much guys, don't worry about it. So, um, let's go. And uh, we do have a super boss coming up soon, so I'm a bit interested in that. And, uh, yeah, it's all at the end of Sherry Ruth, though. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do Area 1 of Sherry Ruth. Um, and then I'm going to do Area 13th of Sherry Ruth. And I'm going to show you guys Area 14 when we're going to fight the boss. So, that's the approach I'm going to take. Apparently, the two Reaper fights have made me way over-leveled, which I kind of expected, but also put me a little bit of God. My bad. Asus. Oh, they look so boring, Makoto. Look how boring they look. I was expecting some kind of, like, really cool-looking final weapon since, you know... I'm just assuming it's an ultimate weapon. We obviously have no proof. Maybe it's not an ultimate weapon. Maybe she has even better weapons than this. But I'm thinking that her weapons look pretty... Uh, it looks pretty strong to me right now, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I don't know. 
Um, I want to make sure that I have... Yeah, that's fine. That's perfect. Prince of Addicts. I'm a little bit disappointed by McCarthy's weapon. 400 though on a raised enemy. Not bad, not bad. Oh, we also got the Divine Pillar. I guess we could check it out. We don't need the Divine Pillar ever, I think. But I can show you guys the Divine Pillar. Why not? It's okay. useful at least, I think. So, uh, equipment. Oops. Uh, Joker. Divine Pillar. So this is the reward you can get from killing the... Um, what's his name? The... Um, there we go, the Divine Pillar. This is the um, reward you get for killing the Reaper, the Divine Pillar. Halves damage, but you have no evasion. Literally means... It literally means any incoming damage you would take is halved. Any incoming damage. Like, all damage in the game is halved. It's crazy, I think. Not going to be using it, though, because I don't think I need to, first of all. I also feel like it's a little bit cheesy since... You know... This looks like almost like one of these doors, like, what, get into mementos? So, yeah, it's kind of interesting, but... Yeah, so I hope you guys don't mind that we're skipping so much of Sherry I think you don't mind, honestly, because, let's be honest, once you've seen a mementos area, you've seen all the mementos areas. So, I'm like, I don't think it's too much of a problem, but yeah, I'm going to be only doing floor 1 of Sherry and then floor 13 of Sherry and then we're going to be, um... Beating the showbiz dude, the S Max S rank side quest we got from Mishima. And then we're gonna get the trophy for finishing all the side quests, guys. So it's really good. Unicorn speaks. No unicorn. No speaking allowed in my house. No. Just no. Not today. Not today, Mr. Unicorn Boy. But we got a lot, we got a bunch of other things we need to do. So there's still more work that needs to be done. I guess we, she's got high crits, so we can go for it. So there's two um, rares we need. Two of these little regions we need. The Hope Diamond and the Crystal Skull. They are two like kind of special... Kind of special types that you need. So um, I'm obviously going to be trying to get those. But I believe you're crit. I thought she had high crit rate, guys. Guys, was I the only one that thought it said high crit rate, right? Or was that just me? Did I misunderstand something? I don't know. Maybe. I'm not sure. For, potentially, because I haven't seen one high crit from her since I equipped the gloves here. I just got a random message. Ignore it. Very nice. Ignoring messages. A fun time, fun time. Let's go then. So divine pillar means we can't evade stuff, and I don't think that matters. I guess it also it's kind of bad on like anyone except for Joker, because you can't evade your magics you are weak to with the other characters that have triple evasion if you have divine pillar on. Which means does this car have airbags? Probably I'd like not. to see the moment they engage myself. I don't know if that's disturbing or not. I can't tell. Anyway, um, so if you gave divine pillar to Anne, her triple evade would be literally useless. So I don't think you ever want more than one Divine Pillar, and that one Divine Pillar you want is pretty much just for Joker anyway, so... Yeah, you know, it's kind of interesting, it's kind of interesting. Okay, wow, that was very easy apparently. Hey, another one of these guys. So I'm not getting the rare one I specifically want, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, yeah. This thing's only weak to lightning. It's kind of odd that it's only weak to lightning. If, in all honesty, I don't understand why, but it is. I believe in you! Nope. I don't believe in you anymore. I take it back, Makoto. I take back any praise I'd ever given you, Makoto. It's all gone now. Yes, I know I haven't shown off any of the cool abilities like God Hand or Atomic Flare or um, Ants Blazing Hell. I'm sorry. I'll show it off. Don't worry, guys. It's coming. It's coming. But... No reason okay. to do anything on any of these little guys. You know, maybe when I fight something a little bit more manly, a little bit more scary. Something that gives me a challenge, I might, but... For now, I'm pretty much just trying to get through, um... Mementos have a decent, right? Why do they always want to speak to me all of a sudden? Before they wanted to kill me, now they want to speak to me. It's like... I don't get it. Is it because I'm strong now? I don't know, man. 
I'm starting to think levels don't matter for damage at all, and your persona is the only thing that matters for damage. I feel like all that levels does is gives you uh, SP and MP. Which kind of makes me question whether it's worth um, leveling up at all in this game. CD gear, sounds good. So we were pretty lucky on our uh, Reaper fight, by the way. Not many Mamudoons and Mahamians that we had to deal with. There were like three or four in the whole fight. But I mean, then again, as I mentioned, Anne was doing enough damage to solo kill the Reaper in about 20 turns. So yeah that's that's pretty impressive but anyway i'll see you guys on area 13 of Siri youth see you soon and we're back everybody this is the hope diamond i used mine to see me hit it one time i forgot to unmute the mic but i did now so we can continue and the hope mic hope diamond is one of the rare regions that we need to get our butts our hands on so we're going to be using the gun knockdown trick to make sure we get it because we must get it and uh yeah that's really cool because now we just need a crystal skull and we'll be pretty much set um i got this one just exploring shay ruth naturally very cool that i was lucky enough to see one that is kind of awkward because i do have a bunch of personas that i now need to throw away but that's fine and um yeah you know we have to get the two hope die we have to get the two rare regions for the compendium anyway the crystal skull specifically is really important for okay. story related things so it's really nice we got to pick up one of these right off the bat mm, this one's fine okay so let's just check it out let's see what the hope diamond is because i actually can't remember Level 40 death persona, Automataro, Auto Maraku, Auto Masuka. That's actually insane. Endure, Regenerate 2, Invigorate 2, High Counter, and Fast Heal. That's actually insane. That is a really, really. That is like, if we could have that equipped, you start the fight with this on, you get all those altars, and you switch to a different persona. That's really crazy if you think about it. Look at those stuff. Strong. Now, repower, repower, repower. When does its only weakness repower repel now now that's that's pretty that's pretty cool so now the only region we need now is a skull region if we can get our hands on a skull region then we pretty much have all the regions in the game so that'd be really cool i think what i'll do is i'll keep exploring sherry ruth here oh, i do need to do a little bit of a heal with morgana why is morgana full mana i'm not entirely sure why morgana's on full mana morgana's not supposed to be on full mana so i'm not sure what's going on there but it's fine so off camera guys i realized that i made a couple of mistakes um in this game specifically regarding the skills i taught people like auto atomic flare on makoto is a single target blazing hell is a multi-target but so is maragidine so there's no point having maragidine and blazing hell so i'm wasting a slot here with Anne. unfortunately i don't think there's any way to fix that i don't think i can remove any skills from my party members oh my goodness and i don't think i can um Loser. change any so i think my party members are kind of stuck with this shitty skills which is kind of bad so i'm a little bit upset that i made that type of okay. move mistake but i should have read the skills but i didn't because i'm an idiot so it's my own fault but uh yeah this is shay ruth area eight that's where i got the first uh hope diamond we're hoping still obviously for a skull Skull region to show up. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called, the Skull version. What's the Skull version called? A crystal Skull, maybe? I think it might be a Crystal Skull. We need one of those. And uh, yeah, we're pretty much done. Once we finish the final quest, we get those two personas. You know, we're just gonna, we're gonna leave and everything's gonna be super good. So I'm very excited for that. Um, All right. Crystal Skull specifically is insane because itemizes into an item. That gives us plus five to all stats and high magic evasion, which is crazy. I'm just gonna normal attack. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry too much about uh, doing like magic, especially because I messed up the magic so bad. I feel really bad now because I kind of wasted a lot of. I kind of made a really shitty, a shitty team. Doesn't feel very optimized at all, or really good at all. So I'm, I'm kind of a little bit like upset that I was this new almost to make a mistake i guess but you know it is what it is you live and you learn as they say and i'm learning i'm learning to think before i act a little bit um okay but yeah it's been a lot it's been a very long day for me so i'm very tired so my commentary might be suffering right now i do apologize that's the case guys i'm sorry 
Um, as I'm just actually, I'm super tired. I've been playing this game for quite a while today, and uh, I've also been busy with another series as well as editing and I can feel it. all these different things. Is just really starting to tie me out, and I thought I would be fine, but it's been about two hours since I started this recording. And let me tell you guys right now, it 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 can get to you, it can get to you. But I'm still having a good time playing Persona. I'm very excited to get that plan in very soon. I don't know if I've ever heard that one before, but okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling speedier than ever. Hold on. Unless she's talking about Anne's tits, huh? like, excuse me. Okay, Ryuji. Thank you, Ryuji. I really don't appreciate it, by the way. So as you can see, I'm still getting like all the items on the floor, still exploring the entire floor, and just having a, a Gucci time while we make our way lower. But I'll see you guys on area 13. And finally, we have made it to area 13, and that is a big ass motherfucking shot of holy shit. Hey, the next area down there is giving me a different reading. I'm sure that's the goal. I really hope so. We've been at this a while. I know, man. I've been playing this game for two and a half hours. Trust me, I know what a while is, dude. I'm tired, man. We're tired here. Our body and soul is ready to retire. AKA, go to bed. Mm, bed. I could feel some better action right about that. How do you guys feel about some bad action? Maturakaja? I don't want the fence up my enemy. What the frick is this shit? Man, I'm so mad I fucked up Anne's skill tree. I wish you could fix it. This should seriously be a fixed fucked up skill tree option. Hello, game? What type of game doesn't have a fucking fix your mistakes option, honestly. It doesn't make sense. Anyway, um, we are going to be doing the 13th floor now, and then it's to do the final duty. And then after that, it's uh, pretty much just a home free trip, baby. Home free trip. Not even choking, literally a home free trip. We will literally be going home. <laughs> After that, not me. I got stuff to do, but you guys will have the end of the episode, which will be great. Not for you though. For you, okay. this has been like an hour maybe, so a normal length fish. But uh, for me, this has been right. like two and a half hours of recording, right, so it's really, really difficult. Um, but I don't mind though. It's, it's as I mentioned earlier, it is definitely still fun and stuff, and I'm really enjoying this stuff. And it's nice to know that you're about to get the like platinum and all that and. I obviously want to finish this before Persona Royale comes out. It's just I might have maybe potentially possibly miscalculated the actual amount of work <laughs> that this would take. But that's okay, I don't mind. I really hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I've been enjoying making it and the response has been amazing so I'm very thankful for that. I'm just tired. Just literally tired. And not even from the game, I'm tired from other things. I'm tired from life. Just being life, you know what I mean? So, other than that, you know, things have been good. Did kill the Reaper twice this episode and get the di Hope Diamond and get the Crystal Skull. So, okay. if you think about it, if you look at it in those ways, no in that sense, maybe, you kind of feel like you uh, did something amazingly cool, you know what I mean? You guys are weak too. Eyes. I don't have eyes. No more that, I guess. My entire strat of Persona 5 now just revolves around Anne casting Blazing Howl. That, that is. <laughs> That is all I do. <laughs> and just cast Blazing Hell, and Makoto just attacks and heals, and Yuji just attacks and heals. It's like, that's pretty much the whole strat. It's nothing too fancy. Level ups? Do people still level up my team? Nice. I thought after the Reaper, I might have actually screwed myself with two Reaper fights because I won't actually be able to level up uh, anymore. But it ended up being not so much of a problem, so. But yeah, this is the last floor of Shea Roof. Unless we die to the boss, which would be embarrassing, because we just beat the Reaper twice, so dying to the boss would feel a little bit... Apparently, I need you, dude, so... Can we get your butt? Weak nuclear? Okay. Let's get him, then. Confirm. Talk. Let me your power. Are you human? If you are, then you should understand me, right? At any rate, I give up. Did my horoscope say that today we bad? It's fine. Do as you please. Give me everything you got, lick my shoes. Are you sure it's fine? What is that? Are you calling me a liar? Hmm, you're immensely awkward in conversation, eh? Sexy to me. Come now, hot stuff. Can't you be a little more gentle with me? 
And he's moving proof. What the? Oh, all right. I can't say no to go like you. Let's hear your story. <laughs> Do you have a moment? I was wondering if you could tell me something for future reference. What was the cause of my defeat? Uh, you lack resolve. My natural talent. I'm not talent. You lack resolve, I guess. As far as I'm concerned, I don't think I lack resolve. I think I truly understand you. Perhaps you and I are kindred spirits. I see. So it was my destiny to find myself within you. My new name is Oberon. I am a persona who will be with you. From now on, I'm on your side. So we never actually picked up an Oberon in Shido's palace. So it's cool that we're getting one now. As we do need one. Blimp. Okay, so I'm going to quickly uh, go by power. Yeah, by power. It was nice having you. Welcome, your Oberon. Is incredible, Joker. See, I've got a lot of personas on me. It's because uh, I'm trying to level them all up. That's kind of what's taking long is I have to keep going back and switching in and right. out personas, etc. etc. So, I'll do this at the speed of no god, please don't do it. Kutaba, I don't have time to backtrack. We just a little bit low on mana though. Yeah. So, I'm obviously way over leveled now because of the two Reaper kills. So, that's kind of bad. Ooh, Baphomet. I hate Baphomet. I have a personal like uh, disdain for Baphomet because of past and other type Baphomet situations but 944 damage and she wasn't even concentrated guys imagine if Anne was concentrated in all honesty though I am very very mad um, basically I was like in a really good mood and I was loving the game until I messed up their leveling ups and I messed up their level up so bad that they all became really shitty and instead of having a really strong team of awesomeness and I have this like really weak team of trash <laughs> And it's rather frustrating for me because I'm like, how did I make such a nude mistake? But I did. Baphomet. Do I have a Baphomet? Uh, I think I have a Baphomet. No, just die. It's fine. Just die, dude. Just die. Good. Easy peasy. Man, I can't believe I right. faked up uh, Anne's ability so bad. And the problem is I, fe I faked up Anne specifically, and she's like my highest DPS sir. So messing up her abilities is really bad. Wait, we can see what he... Oh, we knew his weakness is Atomic Bomb or something, right? Atomic... Uh, flare? Atomic Flare? Excuse me? He's got double evasion nuke, and he dodges nuke. I've got triple evasion spells, and I get hit by everything. I love this game sometimes. <laughs> no, actually, I, I really do love this game. All jokes, aside, all joking aside, and all, like all negativity aside, actually, I actually do really like this game. So. Anyway, as soon as you beat this next uh, boss, the um, okay. what's his name? Oh, Resist Blaze. I don't understand any of these abilities they give me because I'm already resisting Blaze. So okay. what's the point of getting Anubis more resist Blaze? Okay. It just feels kind of odd. You know what I mean? But anyway, once you beat this last. Um, Quest for Mishima slash Fantasy slash Mento Sight. I don't know what the fuck it's called. But basically, once we finish the last quest, we will be getting the trophy for finishing all the quests in the game. So that's a two for one special, which is always nice, as you know. If anyone's researching anything, it would be for Taba, I assume, because her mom was and her mom is dead, so I believe it's only for Taba left. I'd rather not. And wait, nostalgia? How long has it been since you went to school? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Taba, when last did you go to school? We'll surge it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Ooh, a red chest and Sherry Ruth? Oh. This could have something good, guys. A red chest and Sherry Ruth could actually have some decent shit. A guy about. I don't know if that's good or not, but I am assuming it is. Okay, go to low level. Boss time! Boss time, boss time, it is boss time. Okay. There is Asakura's shadow. He's acting like he owns the place. He's a producer in the world of entertainment, destroying the dreams of young girls, right? What a jerk. I can't let this go. I, if, I'm going, even if you try to stop me. Okay. No one's going to stop you, so calm down. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing we do is a little bit of action here, and then I'm going to go like here, and then we're going to go over here and beat the shit out of this guy. <laughs> Ah, the fantasies! Did you come to ask me to manage you? Nope, not really. What? Yeah, right. Just what are you doing to these girls? Oh, you're getting the wrong idea. I was just allowing them to promote themselves. They don't understand that they have to pay a price to survive in this cutthroat industry. By the way, you guys seem like you're pretty popular. 
why don't I be your producer? If I manage you, you could become household names in the show business. Don't be stupid, we'll be the ones who'll be managing you. Don't get so full of yourselves, you amateur cosplayers. Fine, I'll make sure you're all blacklisted. So, he's the only S-Strength quest in this game. Oh no! Oh, here we go! I'm not gonna say something about the fact that's the penis monster. Oh, I hate this thing so much. If you want to make your dreams come true, but don't have to turn it to make it happen, all you gotta do is listen to what I say. Oh, it's so nasty. And it's so small as well. It's a penis, but it's a small penis. So it's like embarrassing too. Like I feel sorry for it. You know what I mean? Perukaja. Do you have enough medical charge? You don't. You're kidding me. We can use some God's hand though, it's fine. Good. What do I have? We can use a uh, muscle garage. Hmm. Increase all our words. What's the color? Okay. I don't even want to hit it. That's the worst part. I don't even want to physically attack this disgusting thing. That's how nasty it is. Charge? How dare you charge? Only I'm allowed to charge. Except I can't because Ryuji doesn't have any mana. Blazing Hull. Concentrated. Oh my god! Are you kidding me, dude? Oh, that's that's a cruel twist of fate right there, baby. That's a cruel twist of fate right there. Okay, do I have any SP heals at all? I'm not using strings on I refuse. Um Oh What about this? No we can't. Let's go. Um He yeah, has strength. No. I feel like he's gonna do a strength attack. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so I'm actually not gonna do all that attack here with Atomic Flare. I feel like it will do less damage than if I just do another Atomic Flare. I really wish you could modify your characters. Like, maybe pay Eagle or something to like modify your characters. I think that would be really cool. Land! There we go. You... Raise your strength and charge for that. For that. Really? I'm so mad actually. That he fucking absorbed fire. Oh that hurt. That absorbed fire actually physically hurt me. I could feel that one. You know what I mean? That's how much that one hurt. I was like damn son. I'll use Ryuji. Ryuji does the most damage on my party, I feel so. God hand with a powered up baton pass. Ho oh, ho! Get wrecked, Mr. Penis Boy. Oh, that thing is fucking nasty, dude. That thing is nasty. And everyone leveled up. Nice. Step forward. Dude, he actually, he actually gave decent experience if everyone leveled up. That's insane. Bum -ba -dum -bum -bum -ba -dum. I'm ashamed. Uh, are you telling me the way I've been doing things is it's been wrong this whole time? It's totally wrong. Okay. You've done whatever you wanted and caused a lot of damage. What do you plan to do about it now? I'll apologize to the girls who I manage. I'll do something to show them for my sincerity. Mm -hmm. Sincerity? How? I apologize. Uh, I'll have to think about that, but I'll try to make up for all that I've done wrong, no matter what. Immortal vest. That's going to be good. I'm calling yeah. it right now. If I ever hear another bad rumor about you, you better be ready for us, okay? A perfect job. Trophy gone. C complete all requests, baby. Hell yeah, we did it. Easy peasy. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to the top of Mementos again. So we got Immortal Vest, which is cool. We got a bunch of things. We've got the perfect job socially. That's us for doing all the side quests in the game. Now what you want to do is you run, want to run, if you don't have them yet, between Sarah Ruth area 10, and area 14. Run through these two areas 
and get the Hope Diamond and Crystal Skull that I showed you earlier in the episode. Make sure you get both of them, you need them for the Compendium, which is part of the trophy, and you need the Crystal Skull to make the items we're going to use to beat the shit out of the... Um, what do you want to call it? It's out of the... Twins. Anyway, we're going to go to the Valve Room and do Valve Room things. There's three things we're going to do right now that I'm not going to be doing on camera, but I'm going to explain to it. Uh, first of all, there is a trophy for executing a Persona with the electric chair. I'm sure you've done it at this point. But if for whatever reason you haven't, go to item, make a crystal skull, or whatever you want to make. I would recommend a crystal skull because you're going to need many of them anyway. Make a crystal skull and you'll be happy because you have a crystal skull. Crystal skulls are a very good accessory. Why would you not be happy? So make that. You'll then get the trophy, a sublime experiment, which is a trophy you receive for performing electric chair execution. I'm not going to show this off because I've done many electric chair executions in the future. In the past, that's why I didn't bother waiting until now because I wanted to make Makoto's new weapons. But... I'm sure anyone that's played Persona 5 at this point would have done that already and had that, uh, that um, what I want to call it, uh, trophy. Okay, so the lo the next thing you need to do is just simply go and place any tro Finished any Persona in the training section. Anyone, so, it really doesn't matter. Let's take uh, Osu. Congratulations, Osu. Put Osu you in the training thing. And the twins will call us when it's done. And then that will also give us another trophy later on which is uh we'll worry about when we get it i think it's called through one sentence is the trophy when you um a person learns a new skill through lockdown so that is that so that is the things you need to do on this trip you need to come to mementos first of all then you need to kill the reaper only once uh or twice or how many times you feel is comfortable try and get a divine pill if you can it's not necessary but i would recommend it um then you're going to do the swinging old folks quest which is going to be a hut and robe the, sh the Shadow Wakasa, and then you're going to go through Sherry Ruth until area 14th of Sherry Ruth, where you're going to fight the uh, head honcho in Showbiz, that disgusting penis thing, which is going to give you the trophy for all the quest completes. You'll have the trophy for defeating the Reaper in this episode, and you would have got the trophy for elect electrocuting a persona into an item had you not done that by this point. But I'm sure you have, because I'm sure anyone has. And that's the end of this, and then you guys can leave for Mementos and do whatever you want, or I mean. Basically, do whatever you want in Mementos. If it's maybe with someone to grind or get some items and stuff, just make sure you do that. But that's the end of this episode. I will see you on the next episode of Mementos, where we, uh, or next episode of Persona 5, sorry, not of Mementos, where we actually continue with the game and make some progress. I think in the next episode, we might be able to get the confession from Shido, since honestly, I can't really think of anything else uh, that I need to do. I've pretty much done everything. I'm just waiting for the confident social link and then pretty much just finishing the game and new game plus and most of the stuff you're going to be needing to do is a new game plus so um from this point on for trophies so we've done basically everything except for the confidant in this game um in your first playthrough is the only trophy we need is the confidant trophy there's obviously the trophy to finish the game and all that stuff but that you will get naturally by playing the game so for now thank you guys very much for watching this episode i'll see you next time with more persona 5